Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're all well. Um, I thought I'd talk about high loan to value lending and my experience in the last month or two uh, placing quite a number of high loan to value deals, okay? And some of the challenges that I've come across, some of the trends that I've seen with lenders, um, not only with our own cases, but you've got to remember, as brokers, we only we, we write our own cases, but we have a lot of cases come to us because they may get declined elsewhere and people find us. And so we are learning from uh, other brokers' mistakes and vice versa, or, or clients' mistakes that they're doing directly. So I thought I'd share some of those uh, um, things with you because I think it will be helpful. Whether you want to use a broker, whether you want to do this di directly, basically if you want to get a mortgage with a high loan to value sort of uh, proportion of it. So, one of the uh, biggest issues that we're getting is obviously around credit score. A lot of people are failing credit score. So, although the lender may offer a 95% mortgage, whether it's a standalone 95% mortgage or a mortgage guarantee mortgage, okay, the issue is they get credit searched, okay? Credit search comes in and it could happen two ways. One, credit search comes in, you pass through, you're okay. Okay, so they'll get you an agreement in principle. Um, we get everything sorted out. Everything gets done. Application goes into a lender, and following about a week later, the lender comes back and go, mm, "We've internally looked at it, and we don't want to do it." Subject is, is failed credit score. Client turns around and goes, "Well, I've, I haven't got a credit problem." <coughs> we turn around and say, "We've looked at the credit problems. No issue." The lender. This is a Weasley way they like to get out of it. And let me tell you how this works. The lender will say, mm, "I've looked at the case." It's a 95% case. We've looked at the client's bank statements in the last three months, and there's, you know, there's no evidence of them really saving up any money. I can see they're getting a gifted deposit. Um, so really, they've got no, no savings. We can't see them saving. Um, they're on a decent income, however, they're not saving. So, um, and obviously, uh, because it's a 95% mortgage, um, and I don't know, it could, it could be something around their job or whatever. They'll just put something together and go, we don't want to do it. Now, that's a bit of a waste of time. And I've had that done personally on my own case. Um, I wish I could tell you the client's name because he would know who he is. But um, I had this done last week and we've just submitted it to a different lender and the lender's accepted it. So, um, but we, we've, I've had a few of those come to me from the same lender, funny enough, and I can't... I don't, I don't think for compliance reasons I can start naming lenders, but it's a prominent lender, it's a high street lender. What they're doing is they're accepting them at decision in principle stage, and then at application stage, once an underwriter's reviewed it, they're saying no. Okay, so um, be mindful around that. Um, and it's so important that you're aware of these other factors when you're going for a mortgage because it's not just 95% mortgage, it's not just your credit profile, it's got to do with your deposit, it's got to do with your last three months bank statement, it's got to do with utilization of credit that you've got, it's got to income debt ratio, there's all sorts of little rules that lenders will go at. Now there are some lenders that are genuinely really good. I've done um, uh, I've got a couple of lenders on my go-to lenders, which I'm, if I'm a bit borderline with a client and I'm thinking, well, they look, they want to get a high loan to value deal. Maybe they've had a little blemish on their profile, maybe a late payment somewhere there. I've got a good track record with some lenders that at high loan to value that they will do it. Others, it's just a no-no. There are some lenders really although they offer a 95% mortgage. Um, I've yet to place one, put it this way, with them. Um, and when you speak to their business development managers, they sort of concur that it's a very, very hard task to try to get that product. Unfortunately, we're in a, we're in a market whereby lenders have to be seen to be offering certain things, certain products. I don't necessarily think they want to be writing a lot of business on those products. You've got to take into account that the, the, the where the economy is, where the market is, we're in a bit of a false market right now, and I still think, although lenders are offering products, they may not be, um, some of them may not be genuinely looking to write a lot on those cases. Um, secondly, we've got to go through the income multiple perspective. So when you're looking at high loan to value deals, um, affordability is always going to be key. Now, there are a few lenders, um, like the Nationwides, that will actually lend quite a high amount, up to 90% loan to value 
on you know you could potentially go up to uh, you know five five and a half times I think I've done a video on it so I'll leave a link somewhere somewhere around but generally the market is sitting around about four and a half times 4.49 times income there are some lenders that will go up to five times income so you know but it's all to do with the additional incomes okay and this is where people um, there's a there's a hurdle they fall on you know if you're getting bonus if you're getting commission if you're getting benefits if you're getting maintenance if you're getting any other types of you know pensions things like that you've got to get it checked out with the various lenders obviously speak to an independent mortgage broker because of this stuff because people fail on it and um, a couple of other things really you've had I've had um, cases and not necessarily uh, high loan to value cases again it's to do with how the systems work um, We've quoted them saying, well, we've run the affordability check and you can borrow, I don't know, £200,000, okay? Application goes in, um, the lender looks at it and says, mm, their credit score's not quite right or we're not quite happy with this one because we've now done a hard footprint because a lot of lenders now are doing a soft footprint and then they do a hard footprint, which is a little bit of a deeper search on application. And then when they review it with the underwriters, they may come back and go, do you know what? The credit score's not as high. We're not going to decline it. We still want to lend. However, because of that, when the, it's now affected affordability, and hence we're only willing to give the client 180K rather than 200K. Okay? So it's a bit of a minefield, okay, on high loan to value lending right now. I think it's just it's just the sign of the market and the adjustments. There's a lot of people at the moment looking at various things. Um, so guys, I hope this is a uh, uh, that's about it really. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. I'll try to upload as many um, as many sort of information pieces as I can in the next weeks, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.